Good morning, fishing addicts. This is the fishing addict. Temperature here in southwest Virginia is already down into the 40s overnight. It's raining right now. Not a good day to go fishing. I thought I'd show y'all how to, to rig a uh, hay rig for carp fishing today. You want to take you about uh, two foot of braided. I've got 25 pound test. You want to change those numbers and go bigger if you've got bigger carp than that than, than we do in certain areas around here. You want to take your line, just double it over like this. You want to just do a basic, basic loop. You want this loop to go back through. I can get it to do it. Take it down. You want that to be, I think around an inch, like that. And I'll show you in a minute. Tug it up. Clip this off. Right there. And that's how you're gonna start. I'm using Eagle Claw number two bait holder hooks. And I'm using yellow braided line for visibility purposes and a red hook so y'all can see better. You want to take this. This is going to be your bait. You want to put it on the back side of your hook. Since that's a little bit longer, of course it's code, you want it to be about an inch over. Three quarters of an inch to an inch past the hook. So put that knot right up under here. Just about like that. You want to go through back side of the hook. Now you want to wrap pull it right back out didn't it guys? Put it back through. It's going to go right down the back of your hook just like that. Hold it with your finger. Wrap around just like this. Uh, about eight. Or nine times, maybe. Go through the back of the hook. Like this. So it comes out the front. And pull it. See how that cinched that up? That way, it'll pull and pull the hook back into the fish on resistance. So if that's there in the fish, it'd go inside the fish's mouth. Now you've got your little loop right there. You can have this tool, you can buy these, or you can take a hook like I did and a pair of pliers. You take the hook and straighten it out. So the little barb, just like this. And that'll do the same thing so you don't have to buy the little tool. You take your corn, plastic corn. Take you a couple pieces. Show you how you do it. You push it right through the corn. Like that. Put both pieces on it. Just push it through. Take that loop. Stick it through here. Hook it. And you push your corn up on there. Just like this. Then they have a little card you can get. It's called bait stops. If you don't want to buy these, you can get a toothpick and take a little toothpick or a stick or anything and put down in this loop the same way. Then I'm going to do this. You're going to go right inside. See that? Take your bait. Pull your bottom one where it's just like this. Slide your other one down like that. 
and here's your corn. It won't slide off. You can put three on there or two. I like running two. Uh, you take your swivel, and it depends on the size carp you're fishing for. Take a swivel, take this in here, and just, uh, you can tie a palomar knot or whatever. Or you can do another loop knot that you know is going to hold. If you do a loop knot, you want to trim it all off. Like that. Here's your hair rig. There's your knot. You can hook this to a swivel if you've got a snap swivel. And that is a hair rig for carp. Like I said, you can take a hook and straighten it out. You don't have to buy the little tool. And then you can use a toothpick instead of buying these. I got these off Timu. There's a code in the description below. You can buy these. I got like $2. I got 10 cards of these. And, and that's it. Like I said, on that hook, just make sure when you do that, you come through and it turns. I do like this just a little bit shorter, about right here where the corn is. The carp will start sucking that corn in. And once he sucks it in, the hook will go in his mouth and it'll hook him. He can even spit the corn. He still will probably get that hook. He's about 90% chance he'll get that hook. So, guys, I'm hoping that helps some of y'all. Uh -uh. There's different ways people do different things on these. I think the hooks that I use, I catch fish off of them, the setups. I want to show you how to do, in another video, we'll do a double hair rig setup. Uh, this is very effective probably the most effective setup rig rig setup you have for carp so anyway guys i hope y'all enjoyed it it's a short video i have went and did a new intro screen an outro screen i'm trying to update some stuff on the channel i'd appreciate a thumbs up subscribe if you ain't subscribed go through all the videos if you ain't seen everything we've got fishing videos a little bit of everything for everybody Remember the motto, let's take a kid fishing. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe. It's fast, free, and easy, right? If y'all fishing, leave a comment below. If it's too cold, leave a comment and say, hey, it's cold. <laughs> we understand. All right, this is the fishing addict until the next one. See y'all.